Hello, my name is Bob Laidlaw. This is my 1911 original Harley Davidson single cylinder motorcycle with belt drive. I've had this motorcycle for over 35 years. I bought it many years ago from the chief of police of Monterey Park, the ex-chief. He'd had it in his garage for many years, so it really has very few miles on it, but it's totally original. I put the handle grips on it. I put the, I redid the seat, but it has the original decals that they had on it. I put a new belt on it. I put two new tires, and I put just the rubber only of the pedals. Otherwise, every single thing on this motorcycle is all the original motorcycle. This was a toolbox. You open this little door, you had your tools in there. This was a cutout. You could either have a wide open exhaust system, a straight pipe, you might want to call it, or it would go through the muffler. So that's the way Hardy built them uh, back in then. I, um, this sign here is when I raced at one time up at Irwindale Raceway, dragway, eighth mile drag, I was racing a guy that had a Pierce motorcycle. Same configuration, only his was a 1912 with a little bit bigger engine, but it was a single cylinder, had the same belt. To make it go, you would pull this bit lever back and it would tighten up the belt and off you would go. And you'd pedal to get it going and pull the lever. <laughs> so anyhow, this thing has been around for in my life for a long time. And we're going to make some changes around here, so I'm considering sending this to some place where more people can see it and believe it. But for many years I let people start this thing up and have their picture taken on it with it running. So we've started it many times and driven it around quite a few times. I want you to go around here, Matt, and take a look at all of the equipment that's on it. This is the license plate that they used to have in those days. That was the State of California license plate. Over on the side here, we had a, a city license. City of Los Angeles had that. You had to buy a city license and have a, a county motorcycle license for the, for the bike. The brakes on this were just like a big bicycle what they call a new departure brake system. You'd pedal forward to make it go. When you turn it backwards, the rear wheel would stop. That was the only brake you had was the coaster brake on the rear back of it. Here's how the, when you pull this lever back, you see it would tighten up the belt on the front pulley. The motor would be running. When you put it there, it would, you'd start off, you'd have to help it pedal to get away from the stop sign and pull the lever back and when you could get it up to full speed you'd pull it back all the way so that it would lock up one to one. Has the forks on it. Like I said I put the tires on the thing. Just a great old motorcycle. I don't think there's anyone, I know there's not another one like this in the world. There's a lot of the 1911s and 10s and all the other years but none of them still have the original factory decals and paint on it. There's not much paint left, but those were the decals and the paint that Hardy put on it. And everything on it is all original. So it's really kind of a rare treat to have a running, totally original 1911 like this one is. You put the oil in here, and you turn this little valve on, there was a sight valve there underneath, just like the old tractors used to have. Six drops a minute is how you ran it. When it got too much oil in it, if it did, it would just blow it out the breather. So that was the oil. The gas was over here, and this was the on-off for the gas, and you put the gas in there. Compression ratio was only four to one, so they'd burn the, just almost run on kerosene, but that, that's what they had back in those days. Back then, you had to buy your gasoline in the drugstore, so you didn't have gas stations. So anyhow, that's, that's what we have here is a totally, completely original 1911. You started it up by turning the throttle off extra hard. It would raise the exhaust valve so that you could pedal it and get it started. As soon as you got the motor going around with the exhaust valve held up, you could turn the throttle on just a little bit. The valve opened and started running, then, you, then it just would start up and run just perfect. The intake valve has no cam underneath it. It would just suck open when it was time, when it was supposed to, it, would just, it was an automatic valve. It just opened when it needed to have some air and gas. And that's how they were. I'm gonna start this thing up now. Tighten up the belt, shut the throttle off real hard. 
had the spark advanced the retard and kill switch over here. Retarded about halfway. Start pedaling. Only took a half a turn or so. That's loud for the country and that's through the muffler for the city. Good old solid beat. Now, I'll, un I'll stop the rear wheel for you so you can see how the brakes work. When you need to stop, you just turn the pedals backwards and the rear wheel stops. Just like a new departure brake on a bicycle, only bigger. Okay, we're ready to start it again outside. We turn the throttle off real hard, raises the exhaust valve, set the spark about halfway, tighten up the bill, start pedaling. Then we can turn the throttle on and guide the brakes and start right up every time. Add again like I said, it's for the country and it's for the city. 